Sunrise, in Bowersville, Georgia. Like many small towns around America, there are tracks running through here. But today, the massive locomotives that usually pull trains on this line are tied down, and these small motor cars and their owners are getting ready to turn heads and make memories as they travel through the countryside. Well, there's nothing like it. You're up close and personal to the track. You could be in a locomotive. Riding in a big locomotive is extremely cool too. But being in one of these little cars and feeling every little crack, bump, elevation, it's great. These folks belong to an organization called NARCOA, the North American Rail Car Operators Association. They operate cars that once inspected railroads and hauled workers to places along the right of way that just couldn't be accessed by car or truck. This weekend, members of the group have made an arrangement with the Hartwell Railroad in Northeast Georgia to ride from Bowersville to Tacoa, then south to Elberton before ending the day back in Bowersville. You have the breeze going through the car while you're riding. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially like today where it's sunny outside, the temperature's perfect. You get to see the wild animals running in the woods as you're riding down the rails. And rail fan or not, you'll enjoy the views you get out here. We're seeing the backyards of America riding through the small towns going from point to point, enjoying just being outside. There are all kinds of cars on this trip. Some are restored to how they looked originally. Some are replicas, while others, like the one we're riding in today, have been customized and outfitted with modern controls and amenities. The car belongs to Ben Harrell. It wears a Southern Railway paint scheme and is modeled after what you would call an executive car that would have carried railroad presidents and owners. And if you're wondering what's under the hood, so to speak, it's got a gas-powered Ford tractor engine. Seeing all these colorful machines in one place is cool, but on the Hartwell, you'll also get an up-close look at second-hand equipment that once belonged to mighty railroads that have faded into history. From the Chicago and Northwestern, to the Rio Grande, and Conrail. There's no doubt, Maintaining and operating your own motor car is a unique hobby, and it draws enthusiasts with a variety of backgrounds. Everything, you know, everything, doctors, lawyers, mechanics, uh, old railroaders, just there's, there's some people from all walks of life. You can see this is a lot of fun, but the top priority is still safety. These trips are done legally with the permission of the railroad, and your car also has to meet certain requirements. It isn't rocket science, but it does have to be perfect. You got uh, geometry of, the, of the, the car's suspension, and you can't just cobble something together. Fortunately, the guys you're riding with are here to help. Yeah, you know, there's no stupid people in Narcoa. They're just people that need to learn more, and, and we all are willing to help each other. In addition to helping each other, the members of this group also help the public understand their hobby and history. We have people that stop and take pictures of us while we're riding all the time and then come up and ask questions about what we're doing. And we try to tell them as best we possibly can what we're up to. You can see why this draws attention. These days, modern railroads don't use motor cars. They use converted what they call high rail gear now on trucks, uh, everything from small pickups all the way up to large crane trucks, dump trucks and so forth that allow them to go up to a crossing, turn parallel with the track and then lower down the gear onto the track and drive down the rails. Of course, before motor cars and high rail pickups, there were human powered hand cars that used a design like this. Inspection vehicles have come a long way since then. And even though these old motor cars are a little bit antiquated by today's standards, some of them still have some cool modern technology built in. Back in the day, when it was time to turn the car around, you would need a little skill and some muscle to spin one of these. Now, many of them have small turntables underneath. It's definitely a nice thing to have during a long trip. And by the way, excursions like this don't just happen in Georgia. This goes on all over the place, all over the country. Uh, other outfits do it all over the world. So it's popular for the people that are able to get into it. These guys have taken their motor cars to some pretty cool places, but this hobby is also about the journey and the folks you meet along the way. It's a brotherhood, everybody out here sharing the same hobby. So everybody's a great friend. And that's, that's something I like. I've met so many people that are just really great folks. One of the guys on this trip told me they'd really like to get some younger people involved in their hobby. So if you're interested, visit narcoa.org. Also a big thanks to Ben Harrell for inviting me on this excursion. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.